Okay, we're back at Fury Splice Marathon. It's day whatever, I don't even know. Uh, I had to take a day to do some customer scratchy dent. With the magic of editing, we are back at it. Where are we at on this thing? Today's goal is to trim the uh, Dodge floor pan to its final dimension so it will accept the Fury roof, uh, we have to decide if we are going to modify the rockers, uh, if in fact they need modifying, or if there is if the bracing that I need to put in is already there. We're going to find that out first, and we're going to finish trimming the rest of the Dodge only stuff off at the back of the car here. Is this you working? Guys. Huh? Dean, what do you think? We've got to get an update. Oh yeah, I'm so impressed that this this is a, the only way to save this car properly is using a solid structure, which you're doing. And yeah, fortunately, so. people, it's going to be done because you don't see many two-door 60 Plymouth Furies around. No, right? This and, uh, and, you know, you know it's, uh, we're not trying to make the best one in the world, but what we're trying to do is save an unsavable car, really. Like, yeah. that was a parts car. And use this Canadian poly engine. I'm so glad to see this happen. I mean, I this is a massive job, yeah. This is so yeah. Uh, this is a few minutes later. We just cut all of the uh, redundant structure out of this side. Yeah. But um, you guys, I so mean. this, uh, I'm just leaving that. There's no point making a big mess of that because the other piece actually starts here and goes something like that. And uh, so that is uh, all reasonably easy to take care of. This is ready to go. So, the only thing, the big job here, uh, there is an extra brace in the two-door car's rocker panel, okay. which I'm going to build and install and then weld this back together. Oh, okay. The inside of the rockers is like new. I am so happy. Look at that. But you have to cut Look that at, rock. You had to cut it out. Well, I had to cut it open so we can build the, the extra brace because the two door cars have all this structure here. Gotcha. And the door closes and it'll stress out this area. Okay, okay. So we're going to build the brace and then we can weld that up. And then this side is really okay. pretty much ready for the transplant. We got to trim some trimmy bullshit here, but that's pretty small change. <laughs> that's not a problem. Yeah, so okay, uh, dude. call me when it's done. Uh, no, I know you can do it, man. This is going to be sweet. This is a, this car is not for sale. No way. Do you love this car? God, I love this car. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love this car so much. You don't even... I mean, uh, we're going to cruise this car for chips, like, maybe next summer. This car can is Can you imagine amazing. a chip car? Like, look at the door panels. They're insane. Everything about this car is great. So you've got a Dodge dashboard. Now, so does the dashboard have to be completely dis... Is it well, I got the different? exact same dash outside, but it's yeah. blue. Oh, this is fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I want the blue one. So uh, we're going to change the column, we're going to change the steering wheel, change the whole dash, put all the blue trim in around the windows. You're not going to be able to tell that this was ever done. Wow. Like, this, this is, is going to be the It's yeah. going to be that. It's going to be the oh, blue fear. It's just that I replaced so, all the bad parts, which was the whole bottom of the car. Other than the whole bottom of the car, the Fury is just going to be squished it's onto a different bottom. Look at it's in such great shape. It's state, the same. Man. It is the '60 Fury. This car's in great condition. I'm so yeah. happy you just have it. Just the pieces man. that we need. Yeah. So right. you maybe in like a this is going to be next summer or something. You'd probably have it together. Yeah, I think. I mean, it depends what else you do. Are we going to do the SM? Or are we going to build the Roadster? Or are we going to, you know, God damn it, right? so many cars. Yeah. And then I just want to get the vault in this dump. Do all four Plymouth Hub cabs? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it's done. Is, it, is this lower um, quarter mimic the same as the Plymouth? Yeah, that's why I saved it. Oh, yes. Right now, it changes at the back. So we're only good to about here. Okay. Then I'm going to mow all that off. Yeah. And then. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now, is okay. essentially rip the back of the side. So it's just drilling holes, really. we got to drill some holes, and the then we have right. to chisel that all off. You just drill the spot welds? Yeah. And try and see. How do you know? Maybe, how do you know what? How do you know what? Yeah, I guess you can see them. Wow. Yeah. And they're over and there. Then center punch, then pile and drill, and then yeah. drill, and then chisel. So it's Hammer a chisel. pain in the ass. But every, everywhere that we're trying to save, we that's have to. So okay. that's got to be done. That's a certain amount of work. Okay. 
So what's the next step? The next step is probably a lot of that. Oh, just make, getting the just back Just drilling, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, we need to do. You want to drill this side out and cut this side out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to work my way around. So, yeah, it's really... Actually, I'm just so happy that the inside of this rocker is literally like new. So, I'm just going to build a brace. I thought we might have to fucking start, you know, you know, but it's nothing. I can literally sand that off and weld the new brace in. Cool, and then we'll, I'll fix this, get this all perfect, and we'll paint this all in like original colors if you can get... Yeah, we're gonna, the the blue. Wipers, this we're gonna paint all this blue. This will be perfect and look yeah. nice again. Like this will last. We could do that, eh? Yeah, take it off. And then, yeah. Right? If whatever you take off, this just time, time. take the screws to it. Yeah, look at this bullshit. It's got prime right over the fucking yeah. window <laughs> scorers. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> that's not, yeah. That's not. Anyway, that's. We'll just go You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll just fix that. Just fucking yeah. fix it. This is the old original coupe windshield that's right with the Canada Parks from 1966. Yeah, yeah it is the same. No, oh, this would be nice. When this is done, you won't be able to tell that anything has been done. Yeah, we'll get rid we of this We could put all the bent up parts back on too, but I don't see why you would. Nice We're doing all that, and just change, put some better fenders. In. Maybe let's clean the engine a little bit, but it looks really I nice. I hate the, the engine looks... The blue is horrid. Oh, the blue is awful. It's like, yeah. But I don't want to pull it out. The only way to fix it is to pull it out. Just paint it. It just looks so shitty. I hate the blue, yeah. When you paint it, though, ugh. When you paint it, it looks even worse. Uh at Happy Park there and got it on. Here we can see the brace that we've made to stiffen the rocker panel. Uh, so to match the basic structure of the two-door body, the really good news is that the other brace that I thought I would have to make is already here and it's in perfect condition as is the inside of the rocker. So, that guy goes there, and we're going to plug weld, and then uh, we're going to weld this back up. And we don't have to get too cute because it's all no longer visible. The door jam uh, starts there. So, that was uh, something that I wanted to do so that the structure is to the original specification. Well, that's it for today. So what do we got today? The, um, I don't know if we talked about that. The decision has been made that I'm gonna save as much of the uh, dart windshield frame as I can. It's uh, in substantially better shape. So we've trimmed the dart roof skin completely off, left some, uh, some structure here, and I'm going to sleeve and splice it behind here and under the roof skin. We'll do a little more detailed look at that when we do it. And da, da, da. what else did we do? Dean started prepping the cowl, never too soon. Uh, there's, the, there's the other uh, reinforcement welded in to the rocker. So we should have something that is um, more or less structurally the same as what we had in the other car, at least when it was in good shape. So the great news, the rockers are minty. Uh, 
that is really exciting. Um, still a long ways to go, but nah, I don't know, not really. This all went pretty good. This, none of this matters. We're just going to clean that up and shh, and all the two door stuff is installed thusly in this area and along here. This, which is cool, uh, installed at the factory for the two door roof, uh, regardless of what body went on. So that's cool. Uh, trunk hinge support uh, ready. Uh, this is the support for the package tray, uh, so that we'll be saving from the blue car and hopefully, well I don't know, it doesn't really matter if it lines up. It might be in a slightly different place on the four door than it is on the two door, this definitely is. So that's about it for today. Uh, oh, and the whole back, the Dodge, the rear of the Dodge cut away leaving the raw trunk floor and leaving what we hope will uh, allow us to uh, repair a large part of uh, what's missing on the other car. And if not, we'll just make it all, whatever. Um, that's it for today, okay. Uh, more Plymouth action. Um, Today's job is to clean up the front uh, around the windshield here so that we can do our splice there. And that's really the only tricky part. Everything else will be on the factory seams. And uh, so I just got to cut the remnants of the old rockers off and tidy up uh, around the back a bit. And then uh, get this ready to move inside. I would be doing this inside, but nobody's here to help me move it, so... Well, Frankers is here, but she doesn't want to help. So it's just me and Frankers, and the drill, and the usual bullshit. So our goal was to salvage the roof skin, and get all of the uh, other windshield frame out of the way. So... Now, that's going to need a bunch of straightening up, but it's actually uh, not bad at all. I'm very, very happy to see that there are no holes in it, and it's still quite usable. So, this is going to allow me to paint all in here, or at least prime, and then uh, we're going to get ready to do our splice. This is all just rough cut and left longer than it needs to be for now. Um, except this I cut a big piece out of to give me room to weld this. That is going to get cut back to here somewhere, welded, blah blah blah. Then this one will get sleeved and, uh, and the big chunk put back in. And this is the rail that supports all the interior. Uh, rubber molding type of stuff. So that's been cut back just to get it out of the way. So a lot, uh, a lot of different layers of stuff here uh, before this is ever going to go back together. So a lot of careful measuring and fitting and grinding and a lot of bullshit ahead of us here. So it's dark, it's cold, and uh, that's it for this bit of this job. Next is trim the old rockers away from the quarters. And then we'll put the whole thing on a stands and try to bang out the quarter panels a bit. And uh, the straps are just to keep stuff from wiggling around too much. This whole thing is just a house of cards, really. Um, but uh, it's what we, uh, you know, it's more or less, more or less what we said we were going to do, so nothing has really changed. 
I would have preferred to splice the posts a lot easier, but this is uh, this is a better way to do it in the case here where we have a lot of uh, a lot of rust on the old windshield frame and a lot of mouse shit and whatever. And the other one in the four door car is just perfect, so no regrets here, but a big job for sure. Pretty uh, pretty happy. Uh, today with uh, this score that is a really really decent left front fender here uh, so that was a very very lucky find and uh, it really it's going on it's gonna go on and it's gonna work just fine so that uh, yeah that and more Wait till you see the rest of the stuff we found. That doesn't uh, doesn't take care of everything, but that was the piece that I thought I would have the most trouble with. And decent 60 Plymouth fenders are not everywhere. They're not really anywhere. So to find this one less than an hour away from the house here was really good luck. So uh, yeah, I'll have a look at the other stuff that came with it. It was an abandoned uh, project with a parts car that had been stripped, so I bought pretty much everything I could get my hands on. And, uh, yeah, just super stoked. This is, uh, right, there's no, no fiberglass or welding or any bullshit. Looks like an old small repair has been done here, but it's nothing really that serious. That'll clean up and the rest of it very nice even down here where they're all gone pretty good so uh, for the purposes of what we're doing here oh no I thought it was rust it's just the lichens that's uh, that's a fender that's been sitting around a while but uh, that's just fine with me wow just great okay well back to drilling welds Another day at the office. Back in my cave here. Oh, shit. Today, our job is to separate this from that. Uh, this is the rocker. That's your... Uh, your two door only panel so uh, I'm going to separate uh, the old rocker finish peeling it off a ton of bullshit welds that all have to be drilled out here and then this all has to be peeled away pretty carefully because of course the rockers are a lot stronger than the part you're trying to save um, this some of this might have to get rebuilt anyway but I'd like to salvage it even if it only becomes a pattern later on, at least we have something. Right now, that is not going on the other car. So, I'm going to lay here on the gravel for the next four hours and drill welds out. Awesome! Ditto over here, at least the lighting is a little better. Got some work to do here, apparently. Uh, that's going to need some repair. There's obviously a number of things that are going to need some repair inside here. This is the very first rough cut on the splice. You can see that we've removed the windshield frame and the main corner brace and we're left with the outer roof rail, the inner roof rail, and the uh, rail that supports all the weather stripping and moldings and such. Three different layers and three staggered splices. These two will get sleeved. This one is basically cosmetic, so we're just going to butt that back together. And uh, after we clean all that up, so happy that it's not rusted through. It's actually pretty decent. Got very lucky. The mice had been in there and they could have completely ruined it, but they didn't, so that's just fine. This is actually better than I expected, for sure. And a Buick moment. Buick. Very nice. Um, yeah, so next, uh, 
let's get this one done first. Buick will actually be very easy compared to this Plymouth job. This Plymouth is a nightmare. She's rough. Oh, hey, all the fair <laughs> weather taking the fucking trim off, friends. Where are they now, <laughs> hey? Yeah, um, hey, just tumbleweeds and me with the fucking drill. <laughs> Day 700, drilling holes. <laughs> friends no longer answering. Hey, I'm camera guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but you never faked enthusiasm in the first place. That's true. You were always against this kind of thing. <laughs> but, uh... The smell of mouse piss, though. Oh yeah. Yeah. In the when you when you're grinding through it. <laughs> oh, it's a burnt. It's like, oh yeah. Burnt mouse that's shit. the smell nice. of the automobile hobby. Yes. This is. Uh, this is the glam. Let's have the cam for the glam. I don't know how this works. Uh, there's just a lever or something. Yeah. Okay, so this is. <laughs> hey. So our job, <laughs> believe it or not, is to separate these two pieces, which are the rocker uh, box section from this much thinner, lighter piece, okay? But the best part is that this piece is welded to the back of the top rocker, which is the inside one here. These are MIG together and welded, but this one was put on first. So you can't see where it's welded to these great big bastards, which you have to drill through both of them to get to the one you're trying, and then you have no idea if you're actually on the weld. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm feeling around in the mouse nest for the back of the weld. So you feel around for the back. Hmm. And you're like, oh, I'm just going to rub that back and forth. Yeah, that might be the weld. Let's have a look. I haven't even seen back here. I don't even, I'm going to see this when, this probably looks awesome back there. I don't know. And then there's this. This all has to uh, go back together too. That's a treat. That's a treat. So, yeah. Um, morale is low. <laughs> Team morale is low. Uh, I have a rock look pretty good. Uh, yeah, here. Guy who's not doing anything. <laughs> Guy who was against it. On the record as like, no, you can fuck yourself with your stupid Plymouth project. Fair play to him, sir. Uh, the rest of us though. No I need a drink. I need a drink hard. Let's have a look at the fender. Yeah. But this coming along nicely. Yeah, this is ready. Ready for the top. I was looking at this. This is good. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you planned it? Well, yeah, there has to be a bit of a gap here, but because the door goes over the molding. See the door is pushed down, but I don't think it should be that much. And this has got to tighten up. You know, it's just thrown on. There we go. But shit. So I'm gonna bring the door up a bit um, because that's pretty good. So yeah, shit for just throwing on. This is pushed in. See that big crack yeah. in it? That's all got to be pounded back out. That's probably damage from somebody opening it when the hinges were seized. Well, yeah, they weren't even right that bad. If my research on YouTube is correct, uh, you're way past the point of just giving up. Like, no, we're not even giving up. We're not giving up. See, we normally we just change this hose. Look at that. That's a terrible shade of Chrysler Corporate mid '70s blue. Yes. That is uh, poop. That is terrible. So, I mean, are we pulling the subframe out now? And slide the subframe out, tidy everything up. Why? It's because the engine's the wrong color. Oh no no no! That's not what this car's about. Ah, but this engine is gross. Well, then get your spray bombs out. Oh, and spray bomb. Piece of cardboard. God, that no. was a challenge. No. <laughs> right? Like. Uh, uh, Like, you want to take that out of there and fucking paint it. Oh, my God. No, no, you don't. Oh, it looks like shit. Close the hood. This, this isn't a resto. Are you yeah. not driving a car in primer? I no, no. Fucking... 
So you either leave it like this, or you give it the SDI. Oh, I'm all about the SDI. Yeah. Well, then it has to be that. But that doesn't mean that, that that has to be painted. Close the hood and it's... Yeah, no, no, it'll be like the Citroen where it's just a fucking 50-footer. Drive around, save the time and the effort for the SM. I don't have time to make nice cars, it's just fucking duster. these guys 60 Plymouth guys whiskey breaks yeah a quick run out run out for a quick sixer at coffee with the fellas <laughs> so uh, yeah this is becoming a bit fucking over the top did you show the people's the seven mist welds oh yeah let's have a look can you see it? Is the camera? Oh yeah, it'll get it. Yeah. Look at that, eh? One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, maybe. Six welds. Six one. And they're not like they just popped. Like, I don't think those were ever there. They're not even, no, they aren't there. Yeah. Like, well, they are no, here. But yeah, there's dents there, but there's yeah. no... Uh, there's no sign that that was ever. <laughs> so he wasn't plugged attached. in with his pinch welder. He was just. Yeah, know. right. <laughs> <laughs> he was plugged in. Maybe, hey, that makes sense. Guy came back from his seven beer lunch and <laughs> <laughs> forgot to turn the welder on till he got halfway down the car. Maybe he was lighting his smoke. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that up nice. Well, it'll go back together. You well, can yeah. see where they wanted it. Yeah. It's just kind of... Eh. Surprisingly little fatigue anywhere else, though. Considering that half of the structure of the car was missing, there's not a stress crack anywhere in here. So that's kind of nice. At least we won't be dealing with that. That was the Model A. So This is just some of the shittiest stuff. What does everybody else do at seven o'clock? Yeah. Minus one. You're not digging around looking for welds on the inside of your Plymouth quarters? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Laying in the dirt. Man. Oh, look, I found some welds. Have you finished the other side already? Are you kidding me? Let's pull some welds here. This is a good way to find them. See? Oh, there it is. See another evening of drilling welds has netted us. There, the uh, quarters are now clear of the rockers. That's a fairly involved process. We have to drill all of these guys to separate this which we want from that which we don't want. So that is done. Ditto on that side, I think. Don't really see any more than that. That is done. So, uh, now 
I'm going to take a short break from drilling. I don't know if we can see this. This is just uh, an absolute shit show. So, not gonna necessarily try and make it really nice. I just would like to iron that out a little bit so that I don't have to look at it. Depending on how much of that, uh, you know, on, on what that looks like after an hour of hammering, uh, it'll look better and we may still replace the whole quarter or a good portion of it, but uh, either way, I don't want to put it on the other chassis with that big mountain range in it there. So I'm going to bang it out. Hopefully it, uh, it relieves some of the stress in the panel. And uh, again, not really just going to get the bulk of it well. It's so much easier to hammer while it's off. The only better way to do this would be to cut the whole thing off. But if I cut the whole thing off, I'll probably just make another one. So we're going to hammer this out for now. We may or may not make another one anyway. It's obviously, it's so rotten you can't even tell where the wheel arch was, but whatever. And then the last of the drilling will be to take off the old trunk lip, which is still somewhat there. I also see now that the gas tanks are different between the Dodge and the Plymouth, uh, or at least the filler neck. I might try to uh, save... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'd like to use the Dodge tank because it's clean and the car is running. So at most I will be removing the tank and uh, emptying it and maybe splicing the filler necks or whatever. I don't think that'll be too hard. So there we have it. Um, notice the distinct lack of help. <laughs> Can't really blame people with lives for not coming here to do this. So um, yeah, we're going to get that. Okay, uh, getting near the end now. I don't even know what day it is. Uh, today we are going to finish trimming up the Fury uh, quarters and that starts or what we have to do now is cut the remains of the Fury trunk floor away from the rear panel. Uh, let's have a look. Can you see it there? So this is the original uh, this is the original Fury trunk floor. Most of it was missing but it was still actually on this side sort of intact. That's a filler panel to join the generic trunk floor to the Fury only uh, rear panel. So that comes along here. That's all got to be drilled out, taken off. And here is the remains of it on the side that was not as good. But it all still has to come off. Otherwise I've got no way of welding it on there. So that is a bit of a job. And we have to trim up uh, whatever is salvageable here. This is Fury only, so we have to uh, try to salvage that. And uh, again, we may, if we find a better car, replace this entire uh, rear panel and uh, all of this. This I would really prefer to not have to use. Well, this I can't use, so that's getting replaced or repaired one way or another. But meanwhile, we have to get the car uh, we have to get the body together because I don't want to, you can't really go any further till it's all together. So we're going to clean these welds off and then we're going to drill them all out. And Frankers is hiding over there somewhere. There you are. Hey Frankers, having fun today? No? Well, soon though. Soon little buddy. Good girl. So it's day 7000 on the Plymouth project. Uh, we're now disassembling the carcass of the original car and uh, when you're ripping apart an old Plymouth carcass what you need is a medieval history professor. Thank you for your help sir. Uh, we are uh, well on our way to uh, dropping the uh, roof on the other car and we're just salvaging whatever is still usable from this one. Uh, all the bolts are breaking, everything is going exactly as we expected. Soon to be 
Uh, what's left? Just the steering column after this, sir. That's an ugly truck to travel, that's for sure, huh? This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit.